So I'm here with Light. He's another fellow detox practitioner. And we are going to chat today about what it takes to really heal and reverse your disease, your illness, your chronic pain, all the stuff that you're going through. So um, did you want to say some things to get started? I'm, I'm Adrian, Holistic Living with Adrian. I'm also a certified detox specialist. We're both iridologists. And um, yeah, so let's get to it. Light, would you add some words to just uh, describe, you know, introduce yourself? Um, yeah, thanks for having me <laughs> on. Uh, I just, uh, I'm a being on this planet. Yeah. And I specialize on cellular <laughs> regeneration, deep tissue, like the deepest of tissue cleansing. And, yeah. but, you know, it's so much more than that. Like we were just saying a minute ago right yeah. it's so much deeper than just the physical stuff uh but essentially yeah we're the, we're doing the same thing and we're just trying to hold this torch i mean you know as much as we because you know our teacher has been you know dismantled and all this and we're just trying yeah. to yes. sh show up and keep his uh as, i mean as much as we can you know you know his i love that i never i never saw it that way but you're right we have he has all these students his minions and we're all out there really <laughs> trying to like fight back because he's been suppressed yeah. and you know and it's like it's the truth and so many people and i also love how you know that's why it's good to um get together with other practitioners because we all have our own unique way of describing things and explaining things mm -hmm. and for me I don't know if it was the past brain injury, but like my, my words don't come out right. But the way you said it, like even deep tissue regeneration gives such a good visual to what it, what it is at the core, you know, I mean, or maybe that's mm -hmm. not at the core. I think at the core is definitely the mental discipline, but deep tissue regeneration is really something that just brings a good visual to what, what's going on. So yeah, exactly. so yeah we all have something to add. Yeah. cuz cuz you know just like anyone else, anyone else that has dabbled into these arts of healing yeah. you've tried a lot to get well and you know that yeah you can feel better and then you can have the deep true healing there's a lot of a difference between the two just to have just to have things improve and to have to start feeling a little bit better because you went yeah. from standard diet to making a little bit of changes or you're taking this or you're doing that, but you have to go, right? You have to go all the way into nature and explore the, the realms of the fruits and, yeah, you know, find out about these teachings of like Arnold Eret, maybe yeah. Hilton Hatima, of course, Dr. Morse to really, you know, yeah. to really have real so true healing. Yeah. That's so true. And that's something that like, I haven't had a client to dig that deep. And um, it's really what I want for everyone, but you know, not in like egotistical way, like I want this and I want that. But it's so true because people are usually just trying to look to feel better and then they stop. But going deeper <laughs> is so profound and life changing. And you just earlier were talking about being in that alone state for couple months even and people I was talking to someone the other day and she was saying how she was so afraid to be alone with herself like as soon as she would sit down it would be a Friday night the TV was on she's like what am I doing here alone like I need to see who's who can I contact who can I go out with and now she's found like to to like being with herself and you know that's the start of it but you're right to like really get deep on all the levels spend time outside spend time grounding get rid of as much clothes as you can, you know, get the sun on your skin. Um, the mucoid plaque, which I wanted to talk to you about that because a lot of people don't, that's like a whole other level where you're getting rid of <clears throat> generational stuff and accumulated stuff from since birth. So, so I think that's a good segue because you yeah. had an awesome post on Facebook, which I'll link your stuff somewhere. Um, yeah, same. 
but you were talking about doing extended juice fast, which I'll be honest, the longest juice fast I've done is 10 days. So I have not done that deeper stuff. Um, I've done colonics and they're like, oh, I see mucoid plaque, but I don't really think they're trained to, to know that it's such like a deep tissue thing. So when you were mentioning um, 100 days fasting to really get rid of that, and then you see pictures, I think Dr. Morris just showed recently a picture of a client holding a thing up like six, five, six feet um, mucoid plaque or some type of parasite, but I would love for you to just share your experience with fasting and getting to those deeper levels. What have you removed? Um, what have you seen? And then how did you feel after it? Because I hear that there's a burst of energy and um, it's like nothing else. So take it from here, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, um, geez. Um, I know. Whew. Well, I've done quite a bit of juice fasting. I've done some mm -hmm. long water fast and some short water fast. Mm -hmm. And um, I've done some a long dry fast, a kind of a long dry fast and short dry fast. Um, I've seen I've seen some crazy literally shit come out of me. I want to know worms. I've seen worms. I've seen worms. Uh, even before all this, even ten years ago, um, I had some round worms. I saw that. I on this. Uh, how did those, how did, how did you release those? Was, were you on herbs or a clean diet or were you just that toxic? They came out. The, the issue is we were, me and my ex were working on a old farm that used to be a pig farm and it was oh. organic, but it was organic wow. produce. Mm -hmm. um, but previous to that, it was pigs and we didn't know that until um, she discovered one, and then she was like, "Hey, I found this." And then I started taking a closer look, and I was like, "Oh gosh!" And so That's yeah, crazy. I, yeah. So that was that was. Yeah, so was just coming into years. contact with pigs. Well, because I know, like Dr. Morse mentioned, a butcher who he ate a lot of meat, of course, but he um, he had tons of worms in him because oh, he yeah, was working with meat all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was a, old, it was a pig. Pigs were on there before this crop that we, Sorry. Or, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't composted enough, you know, probably yeah. right. Enough, you know, crazy. Okay. But, um, I've seen liver flukes come out of me, uh, definitely at least a few times, uh, which is like little leech looking things. What? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. How did that come out? Like, what did you do? Were you fasting or I, herbs? I mean, honestly, there's been so many fasts that, uh, that I've done. Or I've done a lot okay. of herbs. I've done a lot of okay. fasts, a lot of enemas. I've done colonics. Um, so it's just collectively every, everything that you've released. Collectively. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, and, sorry. I, and I've seen tons of mucus. Tons and tons of mucus. I had black stuff coming out of me and my... Like mold. When I hit, I think it was 75 days of grape and yeah. lemon juice, um, I started to really starting to hit a turning point there and I started getting, yeah, it could have been mold. Who knows? I mean, it was, it was. Was it tarry? Stuff. Was it like black and tarry? Oh, like yeah. The yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. The mucoid plaque is, it can be long and ropey, tarry, yeah. sticky, hardened, jelly. Um, it's, yeah, it's very um sulfury orangish looking you can oh, see okay. it that's, oh I've you had can like split stuff up. like that yeah i know it's gross <laughs> everything we're talking about is gonna yeah. be really gross but yeah. i'm just trying to think because in my head like i've seen the pictures and mm -hmm. i thought it was like the harder tarry stuff but you're right it's any type of oh, stage yeah. of oh. uh compaction or whatever you want to call it yeah, That's greenish, cool. white. I mean, the thing is, is you can, you notice, I've noticed this to a T, to the finest T, because I've noticed that if you go back and you, and I eat some beans or some whatever, rice or some whatever, yeah. vegan pizza or whatever. Oh, yeah. Anything, anything that's heavy. And I do an enema right the, de the next day. 
I will see clear, thick, I know it's gross, and th thick, white, clear mucus. So that is the stuff that you just ate that hasn't hardened into mucoid plaque yet. I know it's so gross, but guys. No, I'm fascinated, and it's so true. That's what happens yeah. when you clean up. It, you see what's supposed to come out. Yep. It's interesting. Yeah. I, when, I, the... when I eat crap, because that's what it is, it's not even food. Um, I mean, not literal crap, guys, like <laughs> food, <laughs> food. Um, I noticed like a lot of mucus, like even in my urine, mucus and white. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. 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 Right. The, yeah. Seriously, in the urine, it's like people are talking about drinking this. I mean, I'm not going to say there's no truth to, to that at all. There is probably some truth to it, but you're going to heal anytime you do um you make a diet change. Everyone gets fanatic about drinking the pee. And it's like, dude, have you, I've seen pee after five days of dry fasting. It, it was literally a, a liter over a liter of milkshake white. Wow. I'm not drinking that. I'm not going to drink that. Sorry. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That's just me. I mean, I found my thing. And so anyone yeah. that wants to try to push the drinking the pee thing, that's I know. Great. I like that you're open-minded, but yeah um, so that's a side tangent but i haven't talked no, I about know. that enough but there's so much to... stuff out there and like people just don't understand that the body will feel good when we stop the healing process but if you're eating good and you're gonna feel like crap then you drink your urine it's like the body's like pulling back like whoa now i need to go into you know the mode where i'm trying to get rid of that junk and garbage but yeah, you can argue with people about how it's drinking your own waste and all that stuff. But, I mean, it's just about, like you mentioned, um, being open-minded, but also um, just letting go. Like, people are just going to be people and do what they want to do and have to figure it out on their own. But, yeah, it's not, it's not right. to If your body's trying to get something out, then why would you go and drink it? But yeah, people make all these claims that they feel better. And I'm just kind of like, you feel uh, better yeah. know, because your body yeah. stopped healing. Yeah. But yeah. I know that. And yeah. It's always like, hey, I, um, I'm feeling better. Dude, you came from standard Australian diet or standard UK diet, or wherever, you're, wherever you're from, and you're a fanatic about this. Dude, anytime you change any of your lifestyle, your diet, you think it wasn't you think it was eating the fruit or the raw foods or you know going to bed earlier or any of these other things or was it just they always fixate on that and there's no hate to them but um it's starting yeah. to kind of irritate me because i because sometimes it's just like dude they want to always want to push it and i'm i'm going to just start to be yeah. more fierce because it's just like it's not yes not my thing you know Anyways. I think a lot of us are kind of like that where we're just um, like that. I'm trying to find my voice too, because people will talk about the carnivore diet or something that, you know, is completely not true. And I don't like contention and I, I don't want to also hurt people's feelings. So I just, I quietly step away and I'm just like, right, they are going to believe what they want to believe. But then I feel yeah. like that's not doing anyone a service. Um, so I'm, I'm learning to stand in my, stand in my truth and just politely being like, I don't, you know, that's, that's just not true. And, you know, so many people think they're experts, but, you know, maybe even people think like we're thinking like that of ourselves. But the thing is like, we have done it. We've done this and we've seen how it feels. And it's been an extended, like, I, I know it's been only eight years for me, but that's still eight years because other people have been in this 30 oh, years. Seriously? And what I'm trying to say is like some people will try this for just like a few months and be like, oh, it didn't work. And then they'll then all of a sudden they're experts and they start bashing it like, oh, you're going to die and like you're so wrong and all this stuff. And um, it just hasn't, they haven't really dug deep enough. Like you mentioned that deep tissue stuff, mucoid plaque, that takes like serious dedication and work like you can't just go get colonics a few times and think that you've released the mucoid plaque you know i have a client and um i love him so much he's like he went from a standard american diet and 
found Dr. Morse and he's like got all the books. He's reading, like he's doing all the things. He went into a 14 day juice fast, but he's still, he's still new to it. And he's like, I got a colonics. And she said, I'm clean. There's no parasites. I have no mucoid plaque. <laughs> and he was like, I did a juice fast. He was like, I have no more solids in me. And I'm like, let me sit you down real fast. <laughs> tell you, it takes so long to hydrate the body and really start to peel away those layers, you know, but yeah, experience and just going through it. And that's why we can speak like this because we've done it. And like when you clean up all the energy channels and you're pure energy, like, well, I was liquidarian for three years but that included smoothies. So I don't, I can't say like I've extended yeah, juice fast. Okay. You know? Okay. okay like yeah. so, fiber. <laughs> and I would I remember do spirulina. You saying that. Yeah. And I would do like spirulina a lot because that was in the beginning of my journey. And I was afraid I wasn't getting B12 wow. and certain amino acids. And, and, you know, I was doing a lot of chia seeds in my smoothie. So it was very filling and a very dense energy. Um, and maybe that's why it took me, even though I was on liquids, maybe that's why it took me three years to see any detox symptoms because I was doing things differently. But, but anyways, that's why I wouldn't consider me juicing, like doing any extended juice fast. Um, but what I was trying to say was when you do yeah. move all the energy channels around, you know, it's, it's another feeling like people say fruit makes them feel like crap and it's not, Fruit is everything. It opens you up. And when you start moving the energy channels, you literally become a vessel for electricity that that we have just here in the ether. And like, it's so true. Like you go out and you get these downloads. I know it sounds cliche, but you literally get, pick up information and you just like smile and you have this happiness and it's amazing. And like, that's my goal is to get back there and always be in that vibration. But I know like life is like this and whatever, but it's a beautiful place to be and it's all love and like, it's like magic. Things just open up. So have you had that experience? The download oh, yeah. stuff and like yeah. Every, all, all the time, yeah. all the downloads. Yeah, as much as when it. I need them, they're there. And it's, it's just like you said, totally. It's all about the energy. It's really, we absorb pure love. There's this in, infinite mm. love source, right? It's that spark of life. And no matter what you go through, you can always just sit there and tap in, into it. And any time, in nature, in the city, it doesn't matter where you're at, tap into that spark of life, the mm -hmm. true source, the one true source. Because there is another source on this planet, if people haven't noticed, that is synthetic, artificial, that runs on fear. It's a parasitic force. It's not human at all. But a lot of humans all humans are entrapped in it, right? Because it's infiltrated every single part of our life. So we have to make sure that we, that we know what's, what source do we answer to and, yeah. and, and yeah, hook up to that pure love with you know, the nature, the natural force, the real nature, right. you know, because and humans were created in the image of God. God is love. God is light, whatever, you know, not religious, but like, God, the all, the supreme, the intelligent source. And so when you're talking about the opposite of that, it can't be human, you know? So I'm like, it's interesting because there are forces to everything, duality. Yep. It's interesting right. to think about what that force is. It has to be the opposite of love and light, which is darkness and hate and fear. And yeah, so it's interesting thinking about the uh, vibrations of those emotions, fear versus love, growth versus uh, the opposite of growth, <laughs> just shutting down. And yeah, and then talking about like healing, stress will shut your immune system down. Right away. Yeah. Yeah. So that's interesting. That will wipe it out. So we talked about mucoid plaque. I would love to... Cause you see, you have so many great testimonials. Like I was surprised, like I need testimonials, but, um, so that means you have had a lot of clients that have really had the right mental attitude and they've had the discipline to at least go far enough to heal and reverse 
their disease or whatever they came to you with. So um, do you find any commonality with all of your clients that have gone the distance? And um, how does that feel when you have like, when you see so many people that you're able to help, like that is amazing, you know? Yeah, it feels great. <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, yeah. it, I've had a lot that, that have had the gumption and the, mm -hmm. the bright, bright awareness and that have just had enough and that really knew that this, this was the truth and stuck with it. But I've had a lot who haven't, you know, a lot who haven't. Oh, so, yeah. What, I oh, guess yeah. it's true. Oh, yeah. but, <laughs> For all but, the I hundreds mean, you've had. Okay. I, that mean, makes I, sense. I, don't, yeah. I, I There's so many. But really, it's like the, 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 the real quality is that deep, deep knowing of that. I, even though I'm feeling crappy, like I was just talking to someone the other day who's like one of my champions, one of my champions. And he was just like, awesome. he was like, yeah, I have some, sim we were talking about how he's got some symptoms again there. But I was like, dude, it's, you just have some sludge. Don't worry. I know that you've laid, we, you've laid, he did some deep, deep, deep work. Some of the deepest work. And he, it was like, yeah. you know, you laid the groundwork already. Yeah. So all you have to do is wipe some of the surface level sludge out, like some of that, you know, clear mucus that is in his, his uh, GI tract out, you know, and you're going to be good. Like you, you have the blueprint. And he, so the people that really have that really understand this, the education yeah. behind this and that really, um, they're, they're really just they have they've tried everything you know that's what it comes down to and they yeah. they're, they're either choosing to follow they're, they're either choosing to believe the simplicity of nature which do, <clears throat> dr morse teaches or they're trying to they they don't they're not going far enough at all they they won't do what you're su you're suggesting they won't do this they won't even do the simple simplest things and 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 it's like well then you you know i ask people a lot do, do you want to heal it's just, I mean, it's just straight up. How bad do you want this? And do you want to do what it takes? Because there's changes that must be made on a lot of yeah. levels. And it's not just taking change. Like you said, changing your diet and doing this mm -hmm. and that it's a spiritual journey. And it's, it's a matter of holistic lifestyle choices, mm -hmm. changes. And um, I don't know if that answers your question. No, it does. I'm just thinking when you were talking, I was just thinking how, I, do, I mean, hopefully this one client I'm working with does reverse what he came to me for because um, he seems to be diving deep. But I just get so many people who the lifestyle is too hard for them. And they, so it's like, I'm such an empath and I, I feel bad. Like when they're like, what should I eat? It's just like fruits, like fruits. I don't know how else to make fruits. <laughs> make it, I'm like acai bowls, like maybe a salad. I was like, but. Just find a fruit you like and just go to town on that fruit. Juice it, eat it. But it's like I I feel bad because I don't have enough. And I mean, there's not many other options. It's, it really is just fruit, and I don't know how to make it seem like appetizing. Like you look at the Dr. Morse diet, and it's like you'd expect to see like all these recipes, but it's literally fruit in the morning, smoothie for lunch, salad for dinner, and it's so basic. And I just I feel bad having to tell people like this is what you need. This is what it's going to take. So I'm always trying to figure out ways to transition them slow, which, you know, that can help, but it also just makes people try and hold on to things like, oh, can I, you know, still eat this? But so how do you, I mean, you just do like, I don't want to call it tough love, but you have to just be really straight up. And like, like you said, how bad do you want this? Because It really is like, there's no easy way around it. And like, I have this other client and she's a nurse and she's always working. So she's like, this is really hard. Like she's struggling really bad because it's so hard, but I'm giving her all the tools and I don't know what else to tell her. And like, I don't want to be like tough love, but you just have to make the time. And I keep saying that you have to like make the time to chop up a watermelon in the morning. Like, I don't know what else to tell them, but people want shortcuts and there is no shortcuts. Like I was telling my daughter the other day, I made raw tacos last night. And, you know, she's 15 and she should be making her own smoothies. Every time I'm like, who wants a smoothie? You know, she'll be like me. And I'm thinking like, girl, but you should be helping me out at this point. Like, 
it's all made for smooth. Yeah, right. I'm, like, I'm like, at this age, like you should be, if you're thirsty or hungry, or whatever, you should be making your own stuff. So I made the tacos last night and I'm like, she was the only one who ate it because my boys, they just love fruit. They don't do any veggies. They hate green stuff. So, so it was just me and my daughter eating the um, raw tacos, which are awesome. So it is the walnut, so it's a little bit heavier. But anyways, it took like 10 minutes. Like, you know, you're just chopping stuff and throwing stuff in a blender. And so this morning I'm bringing her to school and I'm like, you like those tacos, right? It made you feel, made you feel like you ate a whole meal. She was like, yeah, that's the only thing that I like that's like raw and I was like, you saw how easy that was. I was like, just, we have to learn that convenience kills. Like when you're hungry, I don't want you to sit there and be like, go, oh, I don't want to cut a watermelon because she loves watermelon, but she won't cut it. I'm like, you just got to learn to make the time for yourself. Like put in that effort for yourself because you're worth it. Your health is worth it. And like, what are, if you're not keeping on the fruit and constantly eating when you're hungry, like fruit, then your mind is going to go elsewhere and you're going to think about what's easy and like, oh, you're going to look forward to your cooked food days because I do give them like two a week. Usually it's with their dad, but, but yeah, it's just, I guess being an empath and trying to do this, you feel bad because you know, you're taking things away from people and it's breaking their habits. But, but it seems like you don't either feel like that or you're just straight to the point and people do people leave when you, have you had a lot of clients that are like, oh, I can't, I can't do that. Or do they try and find shortcuts or, or no? Uh, well, I mean, I've had, yeah, I've had so many who are, who they just, they don't respond anymore. I reach out to every <laughs> single, I keep tabs on everyone. Um, and How do you lot, do that? Just, just like, well, I just follow, if, if they have a follow up, well, I keep tab. I mean, I, I don't keep tabs on it. I guess I don't keep tabs, but I always will follow up after a yeah. while and be like, just to check in. And it's yeah. like, and I, I get people who just, you know, you know, they don't respond. And that just means they, they get, it didn't, they didn't do the distance or they didn't usually, or they went to the carnivore or they tried, they tried uh, probiotics or they tried something else that is not going to work. You know, they tried something else that's just going to keep them lost. Yeah. Something that a quick fix thing, and they they didn't want to do it. And it's usually the emotional thing. They didn't want it. They yeah. couldn't sit with their the, the emotional, which is under which is understandable. The stuff that comes up on this. That's why we are we always explain it. Be prepared for what's going to come on when you're having these healing opportunity events because it's intense. Yeah. You know, it's 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 um. But yeah, yeah. you got to have you got to be I waited a long time until I started helping people. And then once I, I don't know, I just, I've gotten better at, I've, I'm always emotional about it. And especially, and then I'm like, oh, but you know what? It's their journey. You got to have like Dr. Moore says, the detached compassion. And um, I yeah, can't, I have, true. I have too much things going on. I'm trying to stay alive in this, in this, uh, you know, dying, you know, on this planet. Well, I'm creating a new world on this planet, but it's, in order to do that, you kind of have to be in the matrix sometimes and be out. And I'm preparing to totally disconnect from the matrix 100%. That doesn't mean I'm not going to still be able to do YouTubes and help people. But I'm ready to lay my foundation so that I can uh, mm. yeah, definitely. to my highest, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a toxic world and everything. Uh, at least, you know, with the COVID thing, at least it came out that we are being lied to and a lot of people woke up, but yes, it's a toxic world. And that's, I mean, I would think that that's something that would motivate people to get on this journey. It's like, Hey, we're, we're in survivor mode because this is the only thing we can control, but the air and the other toxins that like we don't know about what they put in the ether, the programming, like the cell phones, all the radiation, you know, there's so much we can't control, but if we can fix the chemistry in our body, the body is created to regenerate and radiation won't stick. And so there you go. Like, so, I mean, that's my, my focus, but, um, yeah, but yeah, we're in such a toxic world that it's like, we need to do so. If we don't do anything, then what's going to happen? Like, you know, earth is a beautiful planet. Um, there's no other place like it you know according to my studies there's no other planet like 
this with the nature and just the um the manifestation planet things happen very fast here on earth and so um you know when people started wearing masks i you know, my ex-boyfriend was just like, just wear a mask. And I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> if I do this, like, who's going to stand up for our rights? You know, like, someone has to put the, the stop somewhere. And, and yeah, it's not us, then who? You know, it's got to be someone. But yeah, good food sources. The earth regenerates so fast, just like the body. Remember Dr. Moore saying, like, the physical body is the first thing to start turning around, but then, yeah, you start getting into the other layers, but the earth yep. is the same thing. You just, you know, regenerative farming practices, it yields so, so much better than what they're doing now to get crops out. But um, I wanted to talk about, because um, I even heard Dan McDonald saying, like, he starts his detox consultations. He, he says straight up, this is not about a diet. You know, what's going on internally because there's the emotional part of it people are so afraid of feeling their emotions and we use food a lot to cover it up or numb it or not even think about it um i'm guilty i, I think you know growing up i've had a little weird relationship with food and so it's always there um the emotional eating or whatever um so what advice can you give to anyone watching this video about feeling the detox physically, but then when the adrenals start to kick up and the emotions start to pop up, the ego starts to come in, what helps you to stay on track or what do you tell your clients when that happens? Yeah, of course, let go, let go, let go of the thoughts. Let go of the thoughts. How do you return. do that? You, 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 you just, you just let go. You go, okay, you know what? I've had enough. I like to take a big, <sighs> you have that big sigh. It tells your body, hey, I'm safe. Your body hears that. All of your cells feel that. So you have a big, <sighs> and then you can yeah. visualize, you know, visualize the, the, it's just the, yeah. just the fault. Like I was talking about earlier, earlier, these insertions, we've all been insert. Every single part of this reality has been inserted with false programs that are trying to serve an agenda since mm. birth. So when we, when we go, you know what, I'm letting go of all of this stuff and I am ultimate. I am infinite. I am more powerful than all of this stuff all of this evil stuff in this world, I am more powerful. I That's why they want to us, right? Because we are powerful. So I say that. And then I have a few um, really top shelf 432 hertz and 528 hertz um, tracks that are just like I've, I've scoured them. And I have, a, I have like five that are just like, the best ever. So I, will, just I like pure this. tone or not just pure tone. It's, it's, it's just like, you know, like, uh, like, uh, massage music or you know, little like meditation spirit, stuff in the background. Yeah. Spiritual. No, no, it's more just like flutes and really dramatic, like, like spirits, super spiritual. I could send you some. Yes. I would love it. Yeah, I, could, I could send you my, the, the, the good ones. Uh, so I do that and then I just yeah. say, hang with it and you know i i try so to then be like you're talking about um meditation do you do you um not prescribe what's the word do you recommend your clients to meditate to get through the emotional part or do you just tell can. them put on the put on these tones and just try and let go kind of same thing i guess i say I say it's just hang in there. I know how I've been there. I was beach ridden slash bed ridden for three years. So I, I know it's it's rough when you're when it hurts to just exist. Just laying down hurts. Thinking hurts. So I know how it is yeah. where it's and you just gotta stick with it. And that's where I'm like, just remember your goals. 
remember how good you're going to feel because you can already taste it if you want to put your yeah. focus there on what you're trying to do here yeah. and you know and stick with it your, your kidneys are what why is this stuff going on because and then i just re like to remind people that's because you got buried treasure it's not treasure but it's you know buried <laughs> de yeah sewage deposits that are coming up you've got toxins mucus emotions um parasites all of this stuff wrapped in 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 each you know area it's yeah, coming out trillions it's, of cells yeah trillions of cells and i i like to say a lot of the time there's a hundred thousand miles of lymphatic pathways in just one body so do you think that's just going to be hey i'm going to take this uh these probiotics it's going to heal yeah. everything hey i'm going to start doing this this yes. these small little thing so i'm just going to do this dude you got like the c word or you got the, the you know like the hypothyroid you have like you know the the, the fibromyalgias and stuff like it's like dude oh man this stuff took a long time to, you know it took you a long time to develop you have ms well you know what i have a friend a best friend who has ms she's actually a colonic hydrotherapist she's actually one who actually knows her shit straight up like she's like <laughs> she had hardcore ms and you know what ever since i've known her she's a badass warrior woman really you would never think that she yes. had ms ever and that's just since i've known her so she healed it a long time ago you know that's awesome see those are the yeah. best healers you go through this stuff and then you can help others yeah your story is i can't i, I want to i would like to get to know you more and hear more about i saw those pictures and brain injury yeah. Sad. i i don't you. that's what for so many years, I'm like, why am I alive? Like, I should not be alive. And I wasn't very spiritual at all. So I would just have survivor's guilt. And um, and now I know, now I know, like you go through, my whole life has been trauma. And now I know why I am the way I am, I'm just at peace and I love everything. And and so I'm, I'm super grateful for everything that happened because built me to who I am. And like, I know that I'm here to help others or else I wouldn't be here anymore. You know, but, um, sure. but <laughs> it's a great journey. Um, I got into quantum healing and that's another, another amazing, just spiritual thing. So cool. I'm trying to, I'm trying to marry the two ideas. Um, it's contacting the subconscious, which is totally different than, than Dr. Moore stuff, but you know, it all relates because you have to be healthy physically, spiritually, mentally, and emotionally to really have a great experience here and, and help others. Yeah. But I was going to ask you because you mentioned probiotics a couple times, and then it reminded me of um, people love uh, to drink kombucha and spirulina oh, yeah. and things that in our realm might seem like healthy and also colloidal silver is a big one um and these are like people that are close to me and my friends and i'm always like no no thank you but i'm not i don't ever tell them like you shouldn't be doing fermented anything you know it's it's low vibe and it's on the dying side of chemistry I, like i don't speak all these things a like colloidal silver um and i should but I just, you know, people feel like it's healthy and like you just don't want to pop their bubble. But what do you say when people are um, talking about the fermented stuff? Because, you know, in, like initially it can make you feel good in your stomach because it's, you know, making things move around. But overall, it's not, not doing anything. So what, what do you think about the fermented things and... Uh, Well, I I, um, I didn't hear some of that, but but basically, I think I got the gist of it. So yeah, I liked drinking kombucha too. You do? Um, <laughs> I liked like like okay. ten eight years ago, you know. Yeah. Whatever. Ten years ago, I was drinking it and stuff because of the taste. But yeah, I don't think it's healthy. Um, okay. Um, do I think sauerkraut and kimchi is the worst thing in the world? No, I, I do consume it sometimes mm -hmm. um, just because 
I'm not always super intense. I don't, I like to be balanced. And, yeah. and for me to have a salad, if I'm going to have, if I'm going to choose, Hey, yeah. and uh, do I want to have something that will flavor my salad a little bit like kimchi or sauerkraut? Or do I want to have something that is heavy like tahini or nuts mm -hmm. or, you know, seeds or oil? I rather go with the, um, with the kim with the fermented stuff because it's not going to have that um is it's not going to create much mucus in the body it's not in my opinion it's still not great but compared mm. to those other things it's that's other stuff is going to create a heavy layer of mucus trail of mucus where a little sauerkraut it's fermented it's going to pass through you quickly mm. and so it's kind of it depends on where you're at and what you're doing i don't think it's i yeah. don't think it you know, I don't think, I think there still is some truth to the probiotics. I don't think everything is black or white, to be honest. And I heard yeah. you mentioned colloidal silver. I used to, I was making colloidal silver like 15 years ago. Like, yeah. like I, I think it is good because mm -hmm. everything isn't black or white. Um, but you have to ha have it, make it, make it your own and make it in a glass bottle. And, um, you know, there are, our bodies are just like nature, right? So I know that heavy metals and stuff isn't good, but gold and silver, stuff like that, we have kind of inner receptors. We ha we have those frequencies within us. It's part yeah. of the, the natural mm -hmm. order. And I don't know, that's just how I, I listen that's to this girl, this, this lady, or Oracle girl, who's literally the, the high, she's literally, done the most for me in the last three years than probably the most for me than almost anyone else besides like Dr. Morris and yeah. stuff like he, she, and wow. she is mind blowing. She talks about the, the gold frequency and you know, uh, our source connection and the law, like she talks about a lot about what we talk about and, um, yeah, but yeah, I just, uh, well, that's cool. No, I was just wondering cause yeah. there's people who, do it and then i'm always like i don't know i think it like and i guess everything in moderation but i in my head just because i've heard dr morris say like it unbalances the chemistry it's fermented so it's not like high vibe but when you make it you're right like if you're going to choose the heavy nuts or something for that's already broken down and obviously you know why not you're already choosing between two things that are not high vibe in the first place um, and the colloidal silver, I used to do it a lot, and um, I thought it was helping my immunity. But then I also heard Dr. Morris just talk about, again, um, why would you take silver? Why would you? But I think he's talking about an excess because he was talking about people turning blue and oh, stuff. Yeah, well, but, um, well, that's that's because the, they they didn't make it right. They didn't make oh, it wow. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's crappy. Or they. Or, or they yeah, yeah, or they took it in excess, yeah, I guess. Yeah. But what's interesting is I, I do these past life regressions, and um, so I, I listen to a lot of other hypnotherapists. And there's this one lady who was brought, she came back as a Knight Templar, and she was going through these portals, and she was, it was so crazy, but she was living it, and she was saying this off-the-wall stuff about these alchemists who created this, gold powder and she was like i don't know how it's made she was like but it sustains us and we're going to protect this she's like i don't know what it is but i get a sense that it's very strong energy and we need to hide it from the other forces they can't have this so she was talking about the this alchemist created this gold powder and they would eat it yeah. and the therapist was asking like and what does this do and she was like it makes us so powerful and it heals us and so I just remember that. And I was like, that's so interesting. And um, she was asking the, the subconscious when she got to that point, like, what, what was in it? And it was basically atomic gold powdered. So I'm like, so I heard that. And I was, I was just thinking, it's, it's so interesting how there's so much we don't know. And yes, you're right. We have these receptors in us and everything's a frequency. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. I just wanted to hear your, your thoughts. And I do like yeah. how you mentioned that you know, if you're going to choose atomic. rice and beans or kimchi, then like, come on now. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I try not to be too black or white. I mean, I agree with, yeah. with Morse on 
almost everything, you know. I mean, but I also have my own my own view, and I'm which which he suggests. Yeah. He's like, don't. He's like, don't. He's like, you got to have your own your own experiences and opinion yeah. too, you know. I mean, gold is a frequency. Why do you think that they're putting it in in these like the churches and stuff were, were originally why were they so beautiful because they were high energy points so they're going to put like the lightest thing, metal too yeah, yeah yeah so um i've heard it's of so the monoatomic true. gold that i'm not an ex i can't claim all this stuff is how do you know how do you really know and it's sometimes you do sometimes you don't yeah. it's good sometimes to say that to. it's good to just be like i'm not an expert i'm open to learning all the time and you know, even if you have more experience than 90% of the population, the smartest people claim to not know anything. It keeps Straight you open up. and humble. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. right on. <laughs> yeah, totally. um, but yeah, Dr. Morris, I, I love him. And every time he says something like, you know, like just with anything, I, I take it, I take it all in. But um, he, he himself, he eats cooked food and he'll mention, and that's the thing is some people get the wrong idea. They're like, oh, you can't eat fruits for your whole life. And some people choose to do it and some people do amazing. But you're right. We're in these very dense physical bodies. We're here in a dense energetic planet. And like Dr. Um, Bruce Lipton, the father of epigenetics, um, love him too. He says, what are we here for? We're here to experience. And part of that experience is physical. And the spirit doesn't know what chocolate tastes like. And he talks about how this suit is like a TV set. And when the TV set's broken, the TV station is still there. You know, speaking about our energy, our energy never dies. Our spirit never dies. So um, when we go back to Dr. Morse, some people will feel really stressed out and like really restricted. And it's like, that's not worth it. If this is your lifestyle, like me and you, this is our lifestyle. Sometimes we have to have those moments where we binge eat on whatever grains and stuff because it's very grounding. But also the stress is not worth it sometimes. If you're traveling and like you have no other options, like what are you going to do? Starve or like the stress will shut down everything. And, and um, so it's good. And it also teaches you, you eat some freaking raw walnut tacos and you're like, man, I woke up with like all congestion and sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it's not. So yes, everything is not black and white. And I've learned that like when I first started this, I was hardcore. And like I said, the just doing liquids and I felt great though, but you fall off the wagon and you're like, okay, I'm human and this is fine. You know, it's totally fine. But, um, so I just wanted to mention that because People who might be watching um, were two practitioners and, you know, Dr. Morris may seem like he's always saying all fruits, but it's the fruits are to heal. The fruits are if you're dying and you need something to reverse everything, you do just 100% fruits and you're super strict with that and the herbs because the herbs will speed it up and strengthen all those weaknesses. But for a long term diet to be high, high vibe and vital, it's OK to um fall off or just experiment because we're human and that's part of it. Yeah. Just wanted yeah, to say that. True. Yeah. True. yeah. A lot of people get too caught up in just detoxing, detoxing, detoxing. Mm -hmm. You got to detox and you got to rebuild. That's, that's the thing is you got to be able to make these calls. Like, yeah. like Dr. Morris says, you got to know when to hold them. Got to know when to fold them. It's, like, it's, it's, <laughs> you, you're doing a great job doing this lengthy mono, you know, citrus thing, yeah. but you don't, you probably don't need to do it for four years. Yeah. I mean, if it's you true. want to, I, I respect that. And that's, that's some hardcore stuff, Yeah. but probably don't need, you probably would be better to, I see that a lot. Do you, do you, where they just, people get fixated on the, and they, they don't know how to balance the two worlds. They don't know how to step in and out of them. That's the thing. I don't think I've known like anyone personally that has been that hardcore. I mean, oh, I'm not, I'm like the I've one that's hard. like that in my circle and I don't even think I'm that hardcore. Um, oh, I've, yeah, no, there's people you know, who are like, way more hardcore than us for sure. I've met I know, I know there are like, yeah, I know yeah, there's yeah. holy raw Christina and she's balanced herself out with, I think she said she supplements and yeah, 
and I don't know what else. I don't want to say too much because I don't really know these people personally, but Dan McDonald, but he also has mentioned doing other things at some time. He balances um, out, you know. They both balance out. That's that's yeah. the thing is they they're not only always on liquids. They're not only they're not they will not some people they're like you 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 mention an avocado to them and they're like <laughs> you know, you know i mean it's like and i'm like do you think I'm those like, are just the newbies though because I, I remember i was like that it depends on the per there's people who've been i can think of who have been doing it a long time who they're just they're still like that i just i just <laughs> But, but some people have the call a different calling too so i'm not i can't judge yeah, i'm not true. judging here i'm just saying that for most from generally speaking for most people guys i'm it's already hard enough for me to get people i'm blocked left and right and to you yeah. know have uh you know people take me seriously i've been a black sheep so to, to just be outlandish not you know not outlandish to most people is not going to help us like we have we to, yeah. i'm trying to reach more so people. you know we're, we're trying to reach more people here and yeah like you said at the beginning of this not everyone yeah. is prepared to to do a long i don't suggest long juice fest for everybody or this for everybody everyone has their own thing you know yeah but the long juice fast are freaking i've just heard some crazy stories like i wear contacts if i didn't have contacts i would be legally blind so i always think about that like what if crap hits the fan and I can't get contacts. Like I will literally be disabled. I will not be able to see two feet in front of me. And I don't like being dependent on anything anyway. So I was working, um, uh -huh. I was working as a conservationist and there was a guy who was working with me and he was also a Dr. Moore's practitioner. I had no idea. And it was so random, but he saw my glasses and they were like really thick. And he told me, He's like, you know, I did 166 day juice fast and my glasses were thicker than yours and I never needed them after that. I know I had the same reaction. My jaw dropped and I'm like, are you serious? So that has been like, it's always wow. like on the top of my head. Like I need to, at one point in my life, just do it and see what happens. And you know, when I, when I was doing the whole, when I was more disciplined with myself, my prescription, when I went back, got better, like a few, a few points, like. I'm like negative seven, which is really bad. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's really bad. Um, but it was like negative six and a half. And I'm like, that's crazy. But I, I stopped, you know, I started doing cooked food and like whatever. But, um, but yeah, so I know it. I know it's possible. And you can only do that when you are really disciplined. But so just, you know, you're right. We all have to have our different, what are we doing this for? What is your goal? But um, it's amazing that, just cleaning up your energy in that sense can bring your vision back. I mean, regeneration, regeneration, that's what we're talking about. And like that does require the deep, the deep, deep stuff. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever done anything like, I mean, you've definitely removed tons of stuff from your colon, um, but have you, to, and I know you have, but I don't know, um, what have you like reversed that's been, or regenerated oh my gosh. in myself or yeah in yourself yeah um a list a long list yeah, yeah you know what is, like the, what is the worst thing like that people were like oh you will never get rid of that or something mm, asthma oh okay it's incredible i don't know what the what the doctors would label it yeah but arthritis fibromyalgia um ulcerative really? colitis sort of stuff mm -hmm. i don't know what they would if they would label it it probably wouldn't label it. they'd probably label it ulcerative colitis not i wasn't pooping blood like hardcore or anything i mean it's a few times but but um that um completely horrible sexual health like just prostate issues yeah um I mean, not all the time, but yeah, oh, it wasn't wow. great generally. Um, yeah, complete fatigue, just completely shut down kidneys, completely shut down nervous system, nervous system that was so sensitive and just you could not handle anything, could not handle loud noises, cannot handle 
you know, anything. Couldn't oh my handle gosh. the sun. I, I had to wear to sunglasses. Be. I had, I my nervous system was so shut down on so many levels from so many reasons because of so many reasons. Um, yeah. How long ago was that? Um, that I co completely crashed seven, just over seven years ago. And, oh, nice. Uh, Me too. And, <laughs> yeah, we're similar, I think. Yeah. Awesome. That's yeah, cool. That's amazing. Um, that's a lot of system. stuff going on, and that's like all Parasites. systemic, lymphatic crap. Yeah, hypothyroid yeah. healed. Um, just uh, my blood pressure is finally normal, and just uh, yeah, the adrenals. Just I, I, I was in severe shape. I don't know what you know. What uh, there's so what else? I mean, there's so much. I mean, it hurt. Like I was saying earlier, it hurt for me to think about getting up and moving. It hurt for me to to ex oh to just God. lay there. And was just in the, I was praying. I just wanted, I was praying, please just, I want to die. I'm in so much pain for three years. Everything was on fire. Everything yeah, was just everything was stagnant, yeah, yeah. locked up. Pain. Oh man. That makes yeah. me feel like so light for you. Cause I bet feeling when stuff started moving must've been like, oh my gosh, like I'm never going to stop doing this. You know, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And the interesting thing is I was very clean for a very yeah. long time prior to that, like eight years or nine years before that. Oh, wow. You can be clean yeah. by eating almond butter. That's clean, but that's still heavy and it's still mm. protein is what pain. Mm. If you're having pain, it's going to add pain to you. If you're not having pain, you can deal with a little bit. So I was eating a ton of almond butter and grass fed this and all this. And I didn't finally turn vegan until, you know, like seven years ago. But I cut out the dairy like 14 years ago or something and the GMOs and the processed, for the most part, food. But I've had my, you know, it's just like you said, it's you have those times. And yeah, I started over overdoing it physically, being in the in, the, in nature all the time, just going, going 12 hours a day, going as fast as I could up mountains and stuff every day for a long time, many years, like That's six years awesome. of that. What a great it, experience. It eventually, it eventually, yeah, it showed me that you, you need to, A, I never took a time to rest. I never took a time to ever, even for a second. It was like I, when I stopped doing cocaine 20 years ago, it was like mm -hmm. I was still a tweaker <laughs> and I never stopped ever to rest. And then I overdid it physically. And then I started eating, yeah, like things that you will eat while you're going in the nature that are cooked and they're animal or animal product or whatever yeah. uh, organic rice chips hey they're organic they must be healthy no they still have these these freaking seed oils that are gmo yeah. even if they're not gmo it's not food and they're still gonna yeah. oh my health just went uh, it was it was you know I, if i just listened to dtm in 2000 <laughs> all the way when I bought, I bought my first juicer in 2011 or two, 2011 and I saw oh, wow. him and stuff, but I, and I was doing a lot of stuff. I was making the sauerkraut at that time. I was doing a lot yeah. of cool things, different trying things, but it, I was like, I knew it was the truth. But at the time I was like, I'm not you weren't ready. ready. Yeah. I was not ready. <laughs> no way. It's a huge commitment. You're giving up the, our, our comforts, you know? Um, yeah. so that's cool. You listened to DTM. Was that the first, your segue into this whole stuff? John and Kohler, then, DTM. Yeah. And I never could find Dr. <laughs> Morse until seven, you know, until it was the right time. I was going to say, how did you find him? I was just, that's just desperate looking for answers. Like I always was. Yeah. What can help me? What can help me? What can help me? Which I did for my whole life. Like you and you and me, yeah. we've had a long journey and I found, luckily found him somehow. He's That's never sweet. been easy to find. Why do you, you know, even back then? I know, I know. You know why? <laughs> I know, yeah. it's a shame, it's but <laughs> yeah. You can, but well, that's why we're here. <laughs> that's why we're here, exactly. Um, how about we talk a little bit about iridology? Let's Just a little, it, yeah. a little bit, yeah. Sure. Because, um, it's a science, and I like how, I don't know where I heard this, but the eyes allow you not only to look outside, but it allows one to look inside and see what's going on. So it's a twofold thing. Um, you've been doing the iridology a little bit longer than I have, I believe, so, um, well, I know. <laughs> um, so I wanted to just ask you, 
I guess as a practitioner, how it's very valuable for us to see and like be able to tell the client, but for the client, like do, what do they get out of it? They just know, you know, what do they get out of it? Cause I, for me, um, most people are not really interested. It's like a curiosity thing. It really doesn't help them, but, but I, it's, it's such a great tool for us. And I think for, for everyone just to, know and be aware of what's going on internally in them and like for preventative stuff so i just wanted to find out from you because you've been doing this a lot longer do you incorporate that always and do you find that people are really um like wow like you, this is right on like or do you find like have you seen things that they didn't know about that have came up it's a lot of questions there so take it is. I'll try to answer it as, I know. as best All I right. can. Yeah, just let me know if I don't finish it. Um, yeah. Seeing is believing. And um, really, I just like to have as much information as I can. So yeah. the iridology, guys, you get a picture of your eye up close. It's very in-depth. And it tells you everything. It's the window of the soul. It's the window of your lymphatic system. It tells you everything. So I always suggest it. But it's not going to, I know there's people who have hated on it, but they don't even know. Because it's not going to heal. It's not going to heal someone, but it will tell you real time what's going on, what's up with you, with how acute your or normal your tissues are, or how chronic and stagnant, you know, you, every yeah. single cell in your body is. So it's a great way to have, um, it's, it's important to, number one, start your journey, your detox journey, get a picture right away of both yeah. eyes. So then you can see where you are yeah. in a year or two years. Or five. When you see the changes, it's mind boggling. It's mind boggling. So I was just going to um, ask you that. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, you can go. No, I was going to ask you, um, have you had people completely change their eye color? I mean, it's, it's not always super dramatic. Um, mm -hmm people can get expect too much don't expect anything and don't have expectations with anything right but um and some people will like you, you were saying before too is like some people will see some very dramatic stuff and, and it will really um you can tell that like they're like wow like and some people won't i mean but but everybody sees enough dramatic stuff but like certain things like for example for me i broke my pelvis when i was 16 years old and you know the pelvis section on the on our bernard jenton chart yeah. how big is it it's tiny it's you can so see tiny. you can see clear as day where i broke my hip 20 years uh something years ago and, it, and i mean and it is it's a huge it looks like a huge drug deposit even though i didn't um have surgery or anything it, it's it's gigantic it's right it encompasses the whole pelvic region so stuff like that um and then and then when you can see people's like uh issues when you start to see the healing lines when the, the lines are straightening out i've seen that in people and people are like wow but you know generally speaking you just go you go over this and that and that and then you're just like yeah when you have more confirmation of your issues like oh that's your small yeah. intestine guys enemas and clonics yeah. don't get to the small intestine guys that's why you're look at your your small you, so you 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 point out all these things and yeah i mean it's it's a no-brainer for me i i suggest it but yeah a lot of people they don't want to pay they'll pay for other things but they they don't want i honestly and i was i know two, i got two appointments with marcy um yeah. i wish i had gotten more with with them because when I was healing, when I was in my journey, because it wasn't enough, I needed support. Yeah, <laughs> I needed someone to. That's why, like, I personally offer like. You needed someone to, to my, do what you're doing for your clients. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I needed someone. You really sometimes need someone to hold your hand, like seriously, because yeah. you just have like one session. I swear, for me, I don't know about you. You have yeah. a lot of just. I'm 90% one session and then I don't hear, I, I mean, I I'll hear from them again. Maybe, maybe they'll, they'll respond to me or something, 
but maybe they won't. You know, they just I I um I like to generally check in once a week, but then because I feel so bad because people struggle so much, and like I haven't had that one client. I do have this one client that I mentioned before, and he checks in with me all the time. But other than that, I try and check in just to make sure. Like, do you need? extra guidance. Do you have any questions? Cause, uh, I know that people are probably giving up and I feel it. So I'm always trying to reach out and yeah, I don't hear from people or people are like, Oh, I had a really hard week and I fell off. And so I just give them time, but, mm -hmm. but yeah, you do have to do that extra hand holding, And, um, because we really want success. Like we just don't want we don't care about the money for the consultation. Like I want to see you reverse this so you can help your family and you can help your people because that's how it is. Absolutely. I was going to ask you, you said you saw, um, you had an eye picture of your eye and you saw your pelvic area. It looked really bad. Do you have pictures of it after? Yeah, there's, there's been no change in that part. Really? No way. Have no, you done like country? I, I, I need to do more. I need to do more for sure. That would be cool though to, to see the difference. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm about to do a deep, I haven't went deep in a long time. I'm about to do a 30, yeah. at least 30 days of juice. Um, when you do um, juice fast like that, I know like juicing is such a, a labor of love. Um, do you do you do like the complicated all these herbs or do you do like the juiciest stuff so you can get the most out of it and then do you top it off with coconut water or distilled water or something yeah all of that that's, that's, <laughs> a, that's a really good question um i it's 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 love that's what it is it's not even labor i just if I, the hardest thing for me is to, to source, like in here in Costa Rica, I haven't been able to source enough juice that is actually ripe or it, it's been really a desert here. Um, so that's been the hardest that's thing. That's crazy. For me, late, I mean, I've done, I've probably done a, about just of juicing, just a year yeah. of just, I've done four months, 29 days, 50, like so many weeks, that's awesome. and 10 days, so many. So the, to, to answer your question, I like to be personally, drinking about six liters a day. And it's always depending on how much That's fruit a lot. do I want. Oh, uh, yeah, because I don't want to have more discomfort than I should. If I'm drinking two or three liters a day, I'm going to have a lot more healing issues. And either way, I'm going to be healing. But I want to have mm -hmm. a pleasurable, more of a, a pleasurable experience where I can go do my 90-minute yoga every day, where I can be active and mm -hmm. uh, helping clients still and and going around and doing my tasks that I am doing around the world, traveling the yeah. world. Like I want to be able to like, um, yeah, if I'm just drinking two, it's going to bring up some two liters a day. It's going to be too intense. So well, yeah. I, I do, um, I do four cause four liters is a gallon, right? Yeah. I, mean, I don't want to lose any muscle, especially yeah. if you're drinking water, you know, like watermelon doesn't have a lot of calories in it, you know? Um, I, and I like so to what do you what and, do you do? You I like do fruit juice and veg. I'm definitely a big on veg, and yeah, like I like okay. to take the herb, uh, the herbal, uh, fresh herbs are great, but yeah, I love taking, of course, the, the, uh, the herbal tinctures and capsules. Um, I love coconut water and sugar cane juice, so I do all of the juices oh. when I do it, and I and I also. <laughs> I also suggest actually most people that I work yeah. with personally to do some veggie juices. I, I yeah, the veggies are, if I, I'm just saying from my experience I, in myself and other, it's like if you're doing four liters or three liters of grape juice or something, yeah. orange juice, and then you're doing a, a, a liter of coconut water, a liter of veggie juice, or two liters of veggie juice and you know two liters of veggie juice and a liter of coconut water um that's it's not a good way to keep the amino you know the structure because yeah. if you just do six liters of orange juice it's gonna be Ooh. freaking insanely intense be awesome trust me, i've done it trust <laughs> yeah. me it's, it's intense and so there's a it's it's not that 
That's awesome. You're, it's just going to be more pleasurable. You're, like you're going to be, it's not going to be pull. Sometimes it pulls too much. This is stringent. And it's like, I was experiencing that on my four month juice fest. It was, that's why I stopped because my issues that I was, I was like, I told you the ulcer of colitis, like I had a very spastic um, bowels where I was, yeah. it was like, I would, like my life was on a, I have to go find a toilet 20 times a day for my whole life. Okay. Like, I see. So, so, so when I was doing grape and lemon juice, it was making it more extreme where like literally I had, I had a couple times, 40 times in one day on a toilet Wow. just because it was just a little bit of stuff coming out. It's, it's gross. But so sometimes oh, it's, it's good, good to, to have know. the veggies to, 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 yeah. It's it, it, yeah, the veggies are gonna slow you down if you're eating them and stuff. But if you're juicing, it's not gonna. It's you're still gonna detox quite heavily. Right. If you're if you're just adding a little bit of veggie juice, you're not gonna stop your. If you're eat, if you go eat, you know, potatoes and stuff, that's a whole different thing. Right. Right. Th then um, yeah. So that's no, that's a good point because I've had people who they're like, I can't be. I can't be shitting at work all the time. And I'm just like, well, you know, you can slow it down. You can add an avocado to a smoothie or whatever, but you're right. That's such a dense thing. So incorporating some green juice is, is going to help you, you know, not have to be doing that all the time. So it's a good way to, you know, balance, like you said. So, um, when you were mentioning doing the juice fast, the uh, orange juice, what uh, what were you feeling um, when you started getting those astringent things? Was it when you were feeling too much um, detox? What was that? Was that just um, needing to relieve yourself a lot? Or did you get other detox symptoms? Um, generally, it's... Generally, it... You know, it was just like mind blowing fatigue, just the worst you could imagine. And, and yeah, using the bathroom a lot. And, um, that's so weird. Yeah, that you having the cold easy. feet, cold, cold hands, and the hypothyroid stuff, and, and uh, just complete sensitivity. The nervous system completely shut down where I have to wear earplugs or I would have to put a, uh, eye mask over my eyes, just lay in the dark and not do anything. So did you push through that or did you introduce something yeah. to, to maybe slow it down a little bit? It, I mean, it's been so many times that I've, Yeah. it's always a different situation because I've done, like I said, probably a year of just juicing altogether. So I've done, uh, That's crazy. I did about a year on citrus juice or I mean, sorry, a month, <laughs> wow. a month on citrus juice at the end of my four month juice fast where I did a five day dry fest at the end as well. Wow. And what, I was, what I was talking about earlier. And, um, but really, I was really, really sick for so long. Like after that, I, I didn't break it properly. I was went right into the worst emotional eating I've ever done. That was like six, five and a half yeah. years ago or something. And yeah. then it took a couple, it took a while after that, like a year and a half or so to get healthy after that, I had to do a bunch more juice. I did after my 17 day water fest. Um, that was the deepest healing that I've done because I did it so, so well. And then when I broke that fast, I broke it like a champ. And I, and ever since then my health was amazing. And then I did 29 day. I did a lot of juicing and then I did a 29 day juice fest. And ever since that 29 juice fest, was, yeah, I've just been in a whole nother realm, like for the last three years since that, that was my second longest juice fest. It was 29 days. Awesome. So, but I've done so many short ones. Um, it's so yeah, inspirational. Just, I love it. Yeah. You, you know I mean, you, what, what do you do when you feel horrible? You do what, well, that's, is, what I, you know. that's what I was right. going to say. Like I've, I haven't, my things have been more, you know, physical pain and stuff, but not like sickness where adrenal fatigue or asthma, um, you know, fibromyalgia, if I'd had something like that, you know, I don't know. But what I'm trying to say is when you're going through those feelings, mm -hmm. it's interesting to me that you've done so much, but then you'll still have these detox symptoms come up. Like when will this, what is it going to take? You know, I mean, I know everyone's different and things are like 
really locked into us, but I would think well, that when you mentioned that thing in particular you were going through uh, with the citrus stuff, like I would think that it, you would have seen the other side of it, like gotten through it and seen the other side, but you're saying it keeps presenting itself. Well, all every that time, time that was, that was some deep work, but then, then yeah. I went back to, I went back to eating. That was the one time I, one of the few times I was eating non-vegan, I went to eating fish tacos, like, like 10 tacos in St. Pete area. I was eating 10 tacos and, and all, and, and, and then like frozen. I don't know why, but I was doing some the, the stuff I hadn't done in oh, 15 see. years. I was eating like, it was some real embedded wow. stuff. I was eating like frozen. The body wanted to keep it stuck in there. French fries. I, I, it was like that whole fast was a complete waste because, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. So when you don't break ago. it the right way, yeah. you can't, you're not releasing anything. You're kind of like suppressing it again. Yeah. The, the fasting is only half of it. Breaking the fast and learning how the ways of discipline and, and, and not overeating. I, my binge eating was my thing. Like that was the only drug I've had for so long. I stopped doing hard drugs 20 years ago, Yeah. but I didn't stop eating. That was my drug. And that's been a hard one to, to, to deal with. But, but no, I, I mean, my symptoms now and stuff like, you know, yeah. I mean, over, over these last yeah, four something years, I, I'm like, yeah, I'll still have symptoms. It, it, it's the same thing now how far do I need to go? Like it's been three years since I've done a deep thing. And yeah, yeah I honestly have some mi minimum symptoms coming up sometimes depending on how hard I go. If it's, you know, if I eat okay. every single day, cook food, I'm going to yeah. feel some of those symptoms, but it's, don't get me wrong. It's nothing like it was seven years ago. No, it's okay. well managed. It's just, yeah, no, I'm not. So then you see know. that you've I've like, healed. I've gotten through that see, other stuff. Yeah, so if now you see my eye like, pictures from yeah, from seven, I would love from, to see your eye pictures. From, you could see over there. Yeah, yeah can you I, send me your eye pics so I can just yeah. see them when? Yeah, sure. At some point, okay. Yeah, well, sure. that would be cool. Um, let's see. So this yeah. video is going to go out on both of our channels, and um, yeah, the topic was what it takes to truly heal and reverse your illness. We spoke about. The emotional part. I just love the information you shared. Um, I think it's really cool that you have so much experience with fasting and stuff. I really don't like, um, and I think that's good information about properly breaking a fast and and the balancing part. Because I, when I do my juice stuff, I I'm just doing watermelon because it's easy. <laughs> you get a lot, and um, it's easy. But you're right. There's there's that balancing part to it, which I'm, that's what I started thinking. Like maybe that's why it's been so hard for me to do extended ones is because I'm not incorporating those, you know, ground, more grounding energies. I don't know, but I love what you, you share. Yeah. I mean, you get healthy. One thing I forgot to mention. Should yeah. I mention it real, real quick? Mention it. Yeah. Um, is that you will see this as you go. Like I said, like 17 day water fast. As I kept going, doing more juicing after that, it's just, I got so much better. And I was yeah. just able to just like thrive and thrive and thrive. But every single time that you're, you are doing a juice fast, yeah. you will feel these times just where you're really, you're having the peaks in the valley. You're, when you're going, you're just feeling so crappy. It might be for one day, it's usually for a few days, you're just feeling so fatigued because everything is locked down. When that stuff exits you, like when it comes out of there as mucoid plaque, I've screamed at it before. I'm like, I'm so glad you're out of me. Like, I mean, when it comes out of you, then you have, then like the, as you gradually, you do more and more of this, you will have these, these times where it leaves and then you're, you're, you're on fire for a week and you're just, you have unlimited energy and, and then you're feeling great. But then guess what? You, if you're going to keep go juicing for however long, guess what? You're going to have another layer that comes. And so that's the process, no matter where you're at, no matter if it's your first juice fest or your, or your, uh, a hundredth. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so there's always stuff to like 
that's crazy. Like, when will we ever get it all out? But no one ever knows because it takes so much work, years and years, hydration. Yeah. And discipline. That's the hard one. Good. Good luck. But well, we're accountability partners now, I think, right? I, I it. was going to say, I would love to – Um, you inspired me with that amazing post on Facebook. Um. And I don't know what it was because I've seen Likewise. so many posts. I've seen so much over the years. But something that you mentioned, and I was just, I think it's because you said 66 days or something. I was like, that's literally like two months. And I'm thinking like, I could, I could do that. Like I could totally do that. And I could probably do more because then from there, it's like another month, 100 days and just, you just keep going. But um, I would love for us to maybe do some juice fasting things do lives or, or just keep on doing stuff like this to inspire others. Because definitely when you do this lifestyle, keeping yourself surrounded by these energies and, you know, I listen to Dr. Morris every time he has a new video, I'm always following Dan McDonald, um, all the people all the time. I listen to the Arnold Eric over and over and over and over again, just sink it in my brain. So got to keep yourself surrounded. And um, if we can just, be more in people's faces, like the better, you know, who knows, who knows who's listening and what kind of, um, what they're getting from it. You have great information. Um, uh, who knows what I have, but I have something out there for somebody. A lot. So. You have yeah. a lot. Your story yeah. is, you're picked. Oh my gosh. You've come so Thanks. Gosh. I, I want to hear more about that. So yeah. the next time well, let's talk more about you. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for making the time. I'm going through and your some channel is too. your. How can people get a hold of you? And then I'll do mine. Yeah, so I am holistic living with Adrian. Um, I have. I did a TikTok. Which I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm on TikTok. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram, and I'm on YouTube. Which I'm putting this video on YouTube. I'll figure out ways to chop it up and put it on other platforms, but um. Yeah, and then you'll find the video. This will be also on your page, which you can let them know where to find that. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, Raw Vibrant Health on YouTube. That's the best way to find me. You can find my website. You can find my other uh, Facebooks. Which is, uh, but yeah, basically find my website, the YouTube. That's the, the best way. Is that where you have your testimonials on your website? That, that's super powerful. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah it's the website okay. is light site, L I T E S I T E dot com slash. It's, the, I don't even know what slash it is, slash raw vibrant health, but just go to my, go to the YouTube and you'll find it. Uh, or, or if you want, you can just email, email me right off the bat, raw vibrant health at gmail.com. Okay. I'll put all that in whatever description. Same. We have. Um, well. Thanks. But yeah, definitely yeah. check out his testimonials if you're on the fence. Um, powerful stuff just to hear other people's stories. And yeah. um, check, check yeah. her out. Adrian's got. Adrian's got the like the real. She's dialed in in ways that I haven't seen <laughs> with too many practitioners. There's a lot of good practitioners, but she's she's been through it and she knows what works and what doesn't. So yeah, also. Thank you. Check her out. I appreciate that. And we love you guys. We're, we're here yeah, for you. you. And um, reach out to us if you need some help. You don't have to live with your chronic pain and everything else.